everybody, I'm Crow. Let's do this. We only need to upgrade one more system, and maybe the battery. There are a few Federation fleets in the nearby area, as well as a lot of wreckage. There must have been minor skirmishes in the area. No, we already lost a repair station. The destruction in the distance is almost awe-inspiring. However, you're dragged back to reality as sensors indicate you're under attack. They have a clone bay. Which explains their teleporting. I'm gonna attack these. Where are you guys coming? Oh, you're stupid. Got it. We have ultimate doors. You are going to be having problems. I would like to destroy those. Actually. Hmm. Should I take you off doors? I thought about it, and Brecken's actually the one who should have been coming off, since Lombard needs to help things shoot faster. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're going to teleport into here. And start causing them problems. Because that's going to distract their crew. And what I want to do, is once you guys get in there, I'm going to mind control you, so that you start... Oh, why are you... What? What are you doing? Why would you go there? I wanted you to fight him in, in, in lack of oxygen land. I don't understand what you're doing. I'm pretty conf- Oh, we broke their teleporter. Wow, they're pretty screwed. So, you guys are gonna come in here now. Finish smashing this, please. They died. There isn't time to salvage the enemy ships, but your crew made off with a few nearby materials. I'm gonna bring you guys back now. And then I'm gonna drop a heal bomb. And we're gonna close all the doors on the ship. You guys are good to go, and we have enough to fully upgrade the crew teleporter. It's gonna be a while until we get to that thing. Although the sector is still under Federation control, a small scout has slipped by the fleet. You move in to engage. Two beams. Lasers, though. Hmm. Probably going to want to attack their evasion. This won't help us. And this won't help us. So I guess put them in there? I don't really see, see where else we would get benefit from stuff. You guys... Is there anything else that could really be manned? Our doors wouldn't really help, neither would the sensors. And the other stuff is manned. Should we clog this? Nah. Oh, that's right, their stuff isn't going to line up. Where's your teleporting bomb going? Into there. Actually, opening those doors would drain it out faster. Thank you, Lanius. Kill their evasion, please. I would so appreciate that. Close the doors. Oxygen is still functioning. They're going to continue to break that. I understand. It's an important system. It's good that you understand its value. Ah, you missed. How much health does this thing have? Like, seriously? I can't tell underneath that, but I'm pretty sure it's still orange. I'm firing 14 shots at it. Oh, we're actually taking damage now. We hit the weapons before we hit that. These, these things. For, for ships like this, where they can only hit one spot here, the inaccuracy is driving me up the wall. These don't line up perfectly, so we are fine most of the time, but sometimes. I'm going to let these fire and then just cloak, because I can. Good. Evasion down. We get chance to... we get a chance to charge this stuff up. And their weapons aren't charging. So we pretty much got to fire two once for free. The next round will finish them. 
I can't imagine 14 shots when they have no evasion. Oh, half of them need to hit. Can half of them please hit? They missed! Only five hit. Doesn't matter. Now only five need to hit again. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. I believe. Get lots of skill ups, Lombard. Be super good at firing stuff. It got repaired. I almost just want to send Trico over there. Their teleporting bombs are working again. They destroyed our oxygen. Oh, how kind. It was finally destroyed. The ship explodes. 86. That's good now, too. We can upgrade these things just so that whenever we take damage, our systems aren't immediately destroyed. All we'd really lose is a heal bomb. If our weapons got hit. It is still nice to have options, though. And it's not like we really have much else to do. I think this is going to be the first time that we don't fight in the base because of how far away the Rebel flagship is. A large host of Federation vessels are in formation around this beacon. Sensors run hot with missile locks. Once you transmit your ship, transmit your ship signature, they leave you alone. Hello, Rebel flagship. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. I don't suppose I could cloak this as well, could I, huh? What are you gonna get? You got my shields, that's really bad. I need to destroy that. Right, so this is how this is going to work. I'm going to take these points out of here, and we're going to put these points into here for the time being. You two need to step out. I'm going to send you into here, as always. And you're going to start handling them. You two are going to come in here and prepare to go handle the other weapon system. Hacking and these are the only things that they have that can really get us. Unfortunately, because they chose to get our shields this time, all of these weapons will always be a threat. Because they can fully deplete our stuff. I'm going to take a set of oxygen temporarily and use it now. 105% evasion. We are good. They will hopefully be able to break this in time. I'm going to shoot flak at the hacking, actually. I would normally shoot the shields, but we need to hit that. Ah, they cloaked it. What perfect timing. They're going to shish kebab us. This is gonna suck. You guys, go over here. For that, that's the wrong one. You guys go over here. You'll be able to break this weapon. That will minimize our losses. I can use this. To do what? I could... Oh, right before they fire, I'll use that. Okay, good. That actually missed. Right before we fire. I'll use that. And it'll kill some of your stuff. We still hit them. We broke their stuff. They can't drop our shields, at least. Mind control, we won't fully power anyway. Their missiles are broken. I can't teleport them back yet but should and should have done a little sooner. If their missiles are gone, then that means I can start prioritizing other things on this. We're going to keep our flak firing there. That is now broken. Whenever this comes back though, however, the priority is actually this weapon because this one's gonna break out first, but also because they have hacking here, they can ignore our shields, so this is still potential damage on us. But this ion will never be able to hurt us because it's an ion. It's just... it comes with the territory. I can bring you guys back. It hurt us right before it died. We interrupted the attack, though. 
So now we can come over here and just start fixing things. I'm going to pull you guys back because there's no reason for you to be over there anymore. And it looks like we're going to kill them. Which is good because the one system... Usually I take out the ion first. But, uh... You know, really, I should always take this out first. Because I'm like, oh, if I get rid of this, then this thing won't be able to shoot. But I should always prioritize this. Because now, when, on all the other fights, they're not going to have anybody here to stop us. This is good. I took some unnecessary damage. It was a little bad in the beginning. Because they managed to hack our shields. But in the end, we handled it. Just as you finally gain the upper hand. It finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. Eh. Upgrade the clone bay just in case. I don't want them doing too damage to it and us losing the clone bay. I've already explored here, so they should be waiting for us, I think. You chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate that it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. You two, step out of the room. We are going to immediately teleport into here to disable the missiles. You two are going to step into here. We will immediately go for that. I'm so glad... Ah, oh, that's annoying. What do I really, really want disabled? I don't care about your crone stuff. Why don't I shoot over here? I'll take out your drones. Yes, I think I think we'll take out the drones. Not being able to be boarded would be nice. Okay, you come into here. I'll heal bomb you. Trico should be able to handle the rest anyway. We're taking some damage. I would prefer that that weren't the case. So I noticed our power distribution was a little bit off. Probably from getting ioned and then me putting power into other things immediately without really noticing. And then whenever this was done being ioned, it didn't have power into it. So I shifted power around. When this is done being repaired, I'm going to repair the sensors too. He'll fix the med bay. Not really too important over there. This will keep damaging the drones. I'm going to teleport over here to break this, which should make it less likely that they'll get through here considering we're going to have quad shields. However, this will be next afterwards. Then I'm probably going to try and thin out the herd. We are going to use the battery over here to give us the powers to dodge all of this stuff. This is fixed, so now I'm going to come over here. You guys are good over there. When this is done, we are immediately taking them back so that we can immediately send them over here when that 10 seconds is up. This lasts 30 seconds, so this will actually let us do quite a bit. They're pretty screwed over here. That should also stop them from firing from when they did. Oh, that should wreck their drones. This is now up, so we will teleport over here and break that next. Oh, wow, power surge already? Uh, this is repaired. I would like you back in the engines, please. Give me the extra dodge. 45%. Nice. This will soon be broken. Ooh, he died. Excellent. So now I'm going to return you guys. They don't have any way of fighting back, it looks like, really. You guys can come over here. I'm going to hold these shots. I'm going to bring you guys back, too. Let's see, maybe I could hit the med bay. We'll see how this works out. Because these are beam drones, you guys actually can't really get through. Mm. Doesn't that suck? So let's shoot this one first. Which damages it. I'll shoot the next one. Don't kill them, please. Dang, I wanted to thin out the herd over here. Oh well, they're going to try and board me. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. Ah, uh, upgrade oxygen. You'll be over here, and we will distribute this just fine. You're coming over here, you're never even going to make it to the base. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it's sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter, as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared! 
yeah, I'm going to activate this, and I'm going to triple power this, and you are not going to be giving me the problems. Oh, wow, were they over there trying to fix that when they died? There was only three of them left. They had way more crew members. We must have killed them when they went over there to fix that, because that one guy died. That actually worked out really well. I can counter their mind control. Eww. Now, you guys run back in here. I actually forgot. You guys run back over here. Do these... Miss, miss, miss. Wow, all three missed. I'm gonna teleport you guys in here to break that. We don't care about your super shields. That's not even a thing. You getting ready to bloop? Nope. I don't even need to use the big one. Mind control? Not a problem. Now that we have denied that, this is gonna hurt because we couldn't break this in time and I just used that. Oh good, it hit pointless rooms. Could you uh, break now? Ah, right. That does remind me. I should probably send you over here. I can teleport a bomb in here. So even if you do mind control my people, and I can't currently do anything about it... No. Oh, that actually sucks. 85. Because autopilot. You guys are going to break that. You're just going to step out of here. Actually, why don't you come over here? Let's just drain this super fast. You're mind controlled. So I will use this, and I will power this up, and I will unmind control you. Because I don't need you breaking our engines anymore. We have two other power to throw other places, so I'm just going to dump it into oxygen. With both of these destroyed and them having no way to fix it. It's not the worst situation. I can bring you two back now. Yeah, they hit open rooms. We can close this now. That much oxygen pretty much fixes that immediately. You'll come in here and help. You guys. I can bring them back now. So that we can send all four in or something? We have more options. The next time they try and mind control us. They will rue the day. For now, they have failed. Where do I want to cause them problems? How do I want to cause them problems? I could just go over there and sabotage most everything on the ship. I just, I feel like beating them in a way that doesn't use these because we have, like, shield bypass stuff. Unfortunately, we don't really have a way to do that. So, come over here. Is he gonna shoot? Oh, okay. Back to your positions, you can actually stay in here. He's mind-controlled! Oh, the battery's actually not up. Hmm. I'll take those out, put those back in here to counteract it. And then we're going to teleport over there and start causing them problems. Let's just break stuff. He will hopefully be smart enough to just run away. Don't just die. Nope. Thank you for not just dying. I'm going to leave you mostly defenseless. Uh, why don't you guys go break... oxygen or something? No, the engines. Let's go break the engines and the shields. Come back! Awesome. We're, we'll always have this. And you're always going to heal up. So now we can. We have free reign to break everything on their ship as long as we don't break the uh, healing stuff. Though I guess we should actually fire this. Your super shields are gone. No! Uh, 
I'm gonna put power into this and then just triple pump this. Wow, this comes back so fast, we might not even need to leave points into oxygen. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't completely break their oxygen. We kind of need that to breathe sometimes. Ah, here's super shelter back. Let's just start doing the damages. We're actually getting quite a bit through here because of all the little points of damage we're getting done on the inside. Kill bomb! We have 41 more where that came from. How we toy with them? I'm just gonna collect that. And then once all of these are broken. I'm going to flack here. Actually, gonna pull you guys off too. Oh yeah, everything is broken. Their oxygen running out. Justin, you are in the problems. But that's what I wanted to do. We broke everything on their ship. They won't even be able to get shields up in time. I want you to undo what you just did. We're gonna cloak this. And then we are going to finish it. Bye bye! We have achieved victory with all Mantis cruisers now. Thanks to the valiant efforts of the Theseus and her successful crew, Kletzkin, Lombard, Trico, Kapalka, Brecken, Banks, Weishing, and Phillips, the Rebel flagship was destroyed. Throwing the fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. 4,048. Uh, where's the stats? How, what, what determines score? Why are we not, why are we not? I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Anyway. If we come into here now, we have... The, oh, that's right. We unlock layout B for this. Did we ever use this? I don't think we did. No, sir. Getting to the very end with this would let us get the C layout. The Basilisk is now done. The Stormwalker we'll need to do another run with because that other run got sabotaged, damn it. The Vortex would give us layout C. Oh, right. It was stuck on that one. The Bulwark. You know, I think because we've already unlocked the other cruiser, I'm just going to do a run of this sometime on my own time and try to unlock these so that the next time we run with this ship, it'll be with the layout B. Because I've already run with this ship two, maybe three times. And I'd like to try and keep things relatively new. The Nis Nisasio? Mini beam. Extremely cheap and weak beam weapon. Required power one. One damage. Low chance of fire. Dual lasers. Basic weak dual lasers, often used by transport ships that can't afford better. It's two shots though, only one power. Not a bad charge. I actually like these. Three humans. You start with cloaking. I mean, it's a stealth ship, so I guess that makes sense. Cloaking, door systems, two points and sensors, that's nice. Piloting is standard, so we have all of the secondary things. Med bay, two points in weapon control. Ooh, four points in engines. No shields. They don't have shields. That's probably why they have so much dodge. And people demand them, so you start off with like 30% dodge. Either way... Hmm, we might need to put this to a vote. Because we did get a vote for the Kruos forever ago, but that was when this other ship wasn't an option. So it's probably going to be between the Kruos, the Nasasio... Actually, did we ever... We've already done a Stormwalker run. We've never done this one either, I don't think. Yeah, if if I do the if I do the bulwark run on my own time, then we don't even have to worry about doing that one, and then we'll eventually be able to put that layout in there. I think we're, I think we're gonna do let's do a poll this episode. We haven't had one of those in a little bit. The Nasasio, the Kruos, and the Nother. Hmm. 
Maybe another Stormwalker run. Teleporting with Slugs was kind of fun. I felt like this run was going really well. Either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.